Now this is a unique location, the smallest hotel in the world. And it happens to have right in its backyard, Shoback Castle, which is right up here. It's a crusader castle that's built on an old uh, Edomite fortress of some sort going thousands of years back. As if it's Edomite, you know where we are. We're in the country of Jordan right now. And we're near Petra, not very far away, probably less than a half an hour. But I just wanted to bring something to your attention. Back in those days, when the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul, yes, the Apostle Paul, said that, that our weapons of our warf warfare are not carnal, but spiritual, to the tearing down of strongholds. And then he says, what kind of strongholds? Well, uh, uh, arguments against things of the gospel, pretensions, even things that might be sort of stuck in our heads that we might be in bondage to. But the tearing down of strongholds, it's spiritual, prayer, seeking the Lord through the Word, the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, just letting Him have free reign and obeying Him, just doing what He said because He will always lead us in the right direction. He always has the power to overcome all the things, Lord, that might afflict us, all the things that might we might find ourselves in bondage to, all the things that might attack us when we're out there just living in the world, of course, you know, people just hating Jesus for no apparent reason. Not everybody, but I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that do. And when Paul talks about the weapons of our warfare tearing down strongholds, when he said that, people had something like that in mind. We're not talking about an abstract in our head, and maybe a, a little walled thing in our head. They were thinking about gigantic cities. This one happens to be Crusader, as I said. But think of an Herodian stronghold, something that was almost impregnable, and saying that's where the problem is. And Paul says, hey, the Lord can handle that. He can tear it down. And if we try and do it, carnally or in the flesh or by our own means and ability, that thing will never come down. It's like saying, Jay, go take that thing. Uh-uh. I'm not going to go up there. Besides, back in the old days, they'd roll things down on me. They'd shoot me with arrows. They'd pour boiling oil on you. And you got to run up that hill first to even get to the wall that will kill you anyway. But the Lord can already break it down. That's how he does it. And this is the type of stronghold that people had in mind in the Bible when Paul talked about strongholds. So there you go. That's how mighty the Lord is. And when the people heard that the Lord could do that with the stuff that's in here, we win. And they knew just how strong he is. So there you go. A little lesson from the country of Jordan at Shoback Castle and the world's smallest hotel right behind me. God bless you.